Hi everybody, it's Geordie from Geordie's Cards. Thank you so much for joining me today. I am going to be creating this fairly simple thank you card using Lawn Fawn products. So to start with, I took the very special mice stamp set, which I've been dying to use, and the peekaboo peek backdrop border. I stamped out the images that I wanted to use onto Transitype Perfect Colouring Paper. And I'd stamped these out a few times because they are new stamps, so I wanted to make sure I got a nice, clean, crisp image with them. So I think I ended up doing it three times. Uh, this is using Lawn Fawn Jet Black Ink. Once I was happy that I'd stamped them out well enough, I went on to the colouring. So I started with the strawberries. I used R22, R24 and R27 Copic markers. And as normal with my colouring, I'm laying in the darkest marker first, adding some shadow, blending out with the medium and then moving on to the lightest. Once I'd laid in one layer of colour, I went back with a second layer. I just wanted to um, brighten up the colours and make sure that they were blended out nicely. So I went in with a second coat and just repeated the process again. I coloured all the strawberries off camera and then I moved on to the leaves and greenery, which I used YG09, YG07 and YG05. For the strawberry tops, I just used the two darkest markers and just laid in some darker shade on one side and then went and blended out with the lighter shade. And then I went back in with the darker one again, just to create a little bit more shadow. For the leaves, I used all three shades, again, starting with the darkest marker and then blending out with the medium and then finally the lightest. And I just tried to put the shadows kind of where things were overlapping, um, tried to make it look as natural as possible. Again, colouring is not my strong point, but I do my best. And I went back in a couple of times again um, with the colours just to make sure everything was nice and blended out and the colouring was nice and saturated. I wanted it to look nice and bright for this card. So I completed all the rest of the green off camera, everything was just the same. And now going in with the R20 marker, I'm just adding a tiny bit of colour to the little strawberry flowers. I wanted these to look white, but not stark white. And I thought just adding a slight bit of pink to them would be the best bet. So now Y15 and Y13 for the centre of the flowers. Again, these are very, very small little images to colour. So just a little dab of colour for each one. And I'm going to use those same colour markers on my little bee. So adding some shadow to the bottom of him and then blending out with the lighter at the top. I did go back in for a second coat of the darker marker just to add some more contrast. Once he was finished, it was on to the little mice. And I chose to do my white mice in warm grey markers. So W3, W1 and W0. I just went in adding a little bit of shadow and then blending out with my medium and onto my lightest. I really love these images and I was very excited to make a card with them. Um, as soon as I saw them in the release, I really desperately wanted to get them. I hadn't been sure about more mice because I um, I have a few of the mice set. I don't I don't have all of them, but I have a few of the mice sets um, from previous Lawn Fawn releases. And I've got to say, I was kind of thinking, mm, you know, how much more can you actually do with mice? <laughs> um, but then I saw these strawberries and I had to have them. I think they're just adorable. They're really really cute and fun images, and the strawberries are just so sweet. Um, kind of loving everything strawberry at the moment and I'm really excited to play around with some of the strawberry dyes that were in the new release as well. Mm -hmm. 
So I did end up getting the outside in stitch strawberry, the stitch strawberry frame, um, the strawberry um, plant dies, which I can't remember the name of, and, and the fruit basket. So <laughs> I've got a lot of strawberry themed things to play around with when I get the chance. Um, so I'm really looking forward to using those, but I think they'll be great for summer and for spring. Um, so they'll cross over and you can use them quite a lot for the rest of the year as well. So just finishing up my last little mouse here, um, just adding some lighter shade to him and then going back in with the darker marker again, just to add a little bit of contrast. Again, I apologize, my coloring's not perfect at the moment. It's quite hard for me to um, lean forward far enough when I'm coloring to see what I'm doing. <laughs> um, because of my leg, I have to keep it fairly stretched out and straight. So um, yeah, it's, <laughs> it's not perfect, but it's okay. So going in with the R20 marker, I'm just gonna use that on the little ears, the nose, and add a little cheek to them as well, just to give them a little bit of character. I did go on the inside of the ears with the W0 marker, um, just I didn't want it to look stark pink, so I just laid that down first and then went over with the, um, with the pink. On to the little overalls, and I went for B95 and B93. I think these are really nice denim type colors, so they work really well for little overalls and things like that. I did decide to go in with the B97 as well because I just wanted it to be a bit darker to add a little bit more um, contrast. So I added that in as well, and then just blended out again with the other two. I'm gonna use those same color markers for the little punnet. Um, I considered doing these in greys, but decided that I would go with the blue because I wanted blue elsewhere on the card. I didn't want it just in one spot. So I thought it was a good way to bring it in somewhere else as well. And also the blue really makes the red of the strawberries pop. So I quite like the idea of having the little strawberries tucked inside a little blue punnet or basket, or I'm not sure what you call it, um, but I decided to do blue anyway. So again, just laying some shadow in with the darker marker and then blending out with the medium and finally with the lightest. And I think it turned out quite nicely. And the final thing left is to color in the sign. And for that, I'm using the E40 markers. So E44, E43 and E42. I like these colors for wood. I think they give quite a natural wooden kind of color. And just laying in some shadow to one side and then blending out towards lightest on the other side. So once all the coloring was done, it was time to go in with my white Secura Jelly Roll pen and just add some highlight details. I always like to do this to my images. I think it makes them kind of um, look, look a bit, um, so I'd pop out from the page, I guess. Um, it kind of gives them a little bit of a, a cartoony look, I suppose. Um, which again, these, these are not realistic looking images. So I always kind of like the fact that this adds a little bit to them. I try and pop, um, especially with the strawberries, I try and pop the kind of the shine mark, if you like, on the lightest part of the strawberry, like where the light is hitting it. Um, it doesn't always work out that way, but <laughs> I try my best. And finally, I went in with the new um, crystal glaze, I think it's called, glitter glaze from um, Lawn Fawn. 
This is just to add a little bit of glittery detail to the bee's wings and to the little centers of the flowers. I really like these glazes, the new glazes from Lawn Fawn. Um, they're really nice to use, they're very easy, have quite a fine little nozzle to dispense with. If you've got the glue tubes, it's exactly the same. Um, and it works really well and it turned out really nice. Um, uh, hopefully you can see a little bit of the shine there. So now I went ahead and fussy cut all of my images. Um, I didn't have the coordinating die, so I just did that by hand off camera. And then I went ahead and cut the peekaboo backdrop die from some chili pepper cardstock and from some Bristol Smooth cardstock. So now I'm taking the Magic Messages stamp set and I'm using uh, bubblegum, guava and chili pepper lawn fawn inks to kind of create a gradient effect on my sentiment. I wanted it to kind of look a bit like a strawberry. <laughs> I don't know if it turned out that way, but that was what I was aiming for. So I started with the bubblegum ink at the top and then I added the um, guava ink kind of in the middle and I just used my cloth to kind of wipe off the bits that I didn't want it on. Um, and then I used the chili pepper ink for the bottom and I stamped it out twice for each color so that I got a nice crisp finish with a really nice saturation of color. And I think it turned out okay. Um, yeah, I, <laughs> so as I say, I was looking for a strawberry kind of look and I think it turned out quite nicely. I really like this sentiment. I thought it was a really nice one to, um, to add to the card. For the other three panels of the peekaboo backdrop, I'm using the grassy stencil and the cloudy stencil from Lawn Fawn and some jalapeno and moonstone ink to create grass and sky for my little panels. So I started with the grass and I've never used these stencils before. And by accident, I ended up moving one of my stencils slightly and inking over top of it. And it turned out to look like there were layers of grass in the back. So I really liked the way that turned out and I ended up doing it on all of the panels. And then I just went in with um, the Moonstone to create some subtle clouds in the background. These are very small spaces, so um, it didn't take a lot of inking. It was a little bit tricky with the grass, I had to use the um, other side of the grass to to kind of cover that over a little bit and then use the cloudy stencil over top of it to create the clouds um, it turned out quite well like I say it's quite a subtle background I didn't want anything to kind of um, stark or in your face because I wanted my little images to stand out so this was just a nice way of doing it a nice flat background so now I have all my little panels completed and I'm just popping them in place where they're gonna go. And then I'm just gonna figure out where all my little images are going to sit. I'm not gluing anything down at the moment. I'm just kind of having a play around to make sure I know where everything is gonna go. So I've put my little strawberry um, vine at the top with the sign, the little um, punnet of strawberries at the bottom. And then I moved that little mouse carrying the strawberries to the top and the little one eating is uh, standing by the punnet of strawberries. And then the little guy with the overalls, I wanted him to be kind of like pointing at the little um, message. Then I decided with my little bee that I was gonna add um, the trail. There's a little trail um, in the stamp set for the bee. I didn't want the kind of curvy, curly whirly bit. I just wanted the straight part. So I just partially stamped that out just selectively put my ink down on the on the piece that I wanted to stamp and did that. While I had my stamping platform out, I took a white card base of five and a half by four and a quarter, so standard measurements. Um, and I did the little sentiment inside, which says, thanks so much. And I added the little berry in between the two words. So it says, thanks so very much. And I did the little bunch of strawberries inside as well. Um, I don't always stamp inside my cards, but I knew who was gonna be receiving this one and I knew it was the thank you card. So I wanted to do this. Um, I'm using guava ink so it kind of matches this color scheme from the front. And I just stamped that down a couple of times. 
and I think it turned out quite nicely. So here I'm just adding the berry to the sentiment so you get the sentiment to say thank you so very much. Right, on to assembling the card. I'm using my craft, um, I'm sorry, my tonic craft tacky glue to um, adhere everything down. It was a bit clogged up, so I was having a bit of trouble with it, but I got it going and then I just added that all around the panel. I'm laying everything flat. I'm not doing anything with foam tape or making anything stand out. I just wanted it a nice, flat, quite um, basic, clean and simple card, I guess. Um, so I just wanted to make sure everything was adhered flat to this card. So once I have the frame down, I'm going to go ahead and start adding the panels. So you can see on the back, I had uh, started my sentiment, but it's smudged. So I just flipped it over and I stamped it on the other side and it turned out fine. And I'm using my, um, my, my glaze pot just to hold everything down. So just stamping out the panels where I want them. And it's easy to assemble. It's just like a bit of a jigsaw. You just slot everything into place and it all fits nicely because it all comes from the same die, obviously. So once everything is where it should be, then I can start adhering the images down. So I started with the little guy who's going to be pointing at the sentiment. I just thought this was kind of a nice way to um, highlight the sentiment and make it stand out. So he's going to sit there and then just as I had already sorted out um, when I laid everything out down earlier without sticking anything down, I'm just going to put everything into the spots where I had it before um, because I was quite happy with the placement. So just sticking everything down with liquid glue, as I say, nice and flat, nothing fancy or um, clever about this card really, it's quite a straightforward simple one but hopefully the images just kind of stand out and speak for themselves. I really like the images and I think those pops of red are really pretty. So now that those bottom panels have been completed, I'm going to go up to the top. I'm going to add my strawberry vine to that top largest panel. And some of these images are hanging over the edges of the frame, which is absolutely fine. It just looks like it's uh, kind of continuing on. I tucked the little sign in behind those stra that strawberry patch and then added my little bee. And I really like the way this bee turned out with the um, the glitter glaze. I think he looks really, really, really cute. Um, it adds a little bit of dimension, but also a little bit of shine, which is really nice. And uh, finally, my last image is this little guy holding the three strawberries. And that's it, card done. Um, yeah, really happy with how this turned out. I think, as I say, it's quite a clean, simple, easy card, but it's, it's nice, it's cute. I hope you enjoyed it as much as I did making it, and I really hope that you will consider giving me a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, or leave me a comment. Thank you so much for joining me.